So I just checked the weather via Siri and it said that it is 84 degrees tonight. No wonder it feels like being in a pool or being in acid. Hello world, I'm Maya Ryan and I'd like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. Uh, so far I've been able to share my own experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum. A second thing that I will do is give my two cents on autism in the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum as well as your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers. And finally, I will come for topics of things that I'm passionate about in addition to doing day in the lifetime blogging. Just getting up this morning and heading out for breakfast and going to the conference but um, I just checked the weather this morning and the heat wave is over so we will be back to 87 degrees today so I don't think it's gonna be as uh, intense uh, it's going to be in the low 80s uh, all next week so We'll get a break and it looks like we'll get a bunch of rain. At the minute, uh, because we had an early heat wave, a lot of the plants and the grasses anywhere west of the Georgia coast are completely brown. And it's sad to see, but at least the rain will take care of that. This air is breathable. Yesterday's heat was unacceptable, and I'm happy for that. So, without further delay now, I am going to go up and get myself some coffee, and then I'm gonna show you this gorgeous view of the ocean, because I love it. Actually, I can show you the view right here. This looks like a great place for a drone, and since I don't have that, uh, I have my phone and I can take beautiful footage for you to see on YouTube because uh, I want you guys again to see my adventures. Anyway, I have a little story for you guys and I wanted to let you know uh, what I mean when uh, my uh, title says bidding or bidding farewell. So uh, as you guys know, I have been going to Dragon Con for a number of years and I uh, usually go every year or I would go every year and I would mingle with other nerds and geeks and find things in common and enjoy all the costumes. Well, recently Dragon Con has just been getting so big and the price has gotten to be really high uh, the closer it gets, you hit the triple digits. And then uh, there are just a lot of people there that are drinking all the time and a lot of people that are mean. Like a couple years ago, I had one guy get in my face when I was volunteering because uh, I did something uh, the opposite of what he wanted. And he had the nerve to tell me that I was a selfish person and that I ruined the panel and all that. And so. I told myself a couple years ago when I was talking to security that I think it'd be better for me to come to Jekyll Island than to go to Dragon Con. Now I went last year and I was going to go this year, but something inside told me that it's time for a change. So uh, last year was my last Dragon Con, so I'm taking a break for a while. Uh, I've been taking a break from Momocon altogether. I did not set foot on the property at all during Momocon. I did other things. so. On uh, that Friday, I went to go see Aladdin, and that Saturday I went to an arts festival and went out for tacos instead. So it's just been nice. This year, I'm going to Savannah, the Georgia coast. I thought about coming down here, I thought about staying at this property, but a couple of things. Number one, uh, I didn't know whether or not there uh, is transportation on Uber or Lyft. And number two, uh, if I would have taken Greyhound, there would have been a few, uh, 
transfers and it would have been about a seven hour ride and I would have been on the bus all day. I looked at airports and flights. Um, thankfully they fly down to, uh, what is that? Brunswick, which is the nearest airport. But I would have uh, had to pay uh, twice as what I can pay to go to uh, Florida. Orlando on Southwest and unfortunately they don't offer Southwest they have American and Delta and I'm just not up for that and so what I decided to do was do a Greyhound down to uh, Savannah this Labor Day weekend and I booked my first Airbnb and I'm really excited about it uh, they're going to have a jazz festival down there it looks like and they have riverboat tours and they have river cruises and I'm debating whether I want to do a, a brunch cruise or a dinner cruise, but I'm thinking I want to spend the money and do a dinner cruise. Although the lunch cruise is a little bit cheaper and I like anything to do with water and I love the Georgia coast. This is one of my favorite spots. I've only traveled down here for work and I've only traveled to Savannah for work. So it will be nice to uh, come down to the Georgia coast for some vacation time to Savannah that is, but I definitely would like to plan to come down here at some other point because it's just so pretty down here and it's peaceful and it's just one of my favorite places. They also have a little celebrity cat that lives on the island. His name is Marty Jekyll and you can follow him on Facebook. But yeah, it will be nice to have a change of scenery going from uh, costumes and nerdy geeky stuff to uh, relaxing beach time into watching Star Trek or anything related to Star Trek from your hotel room or from um, the Airbnb or probably a verbal beach house, whatever it is. And it will be great to go from eating hamburgers and hot dogs at uh, Checkers to possibly eating big jumbo shrimp or some sort of seafood down here or I mean some sort of seafood up in Savannah. So yeah. I'm going to come in here now and get some coffee. I thought that they had free breakfast up here, but everything is charged. But it's just the coffee that's free. So I'm going to have to go downstairs and get breakfast. And two, the, uh, the lady that works up here is surprisingly nosy, and I'm not up for that. It's cooler, but it's humid. I can already tell I'm sweating this morning, but the breakfast here doesn't look too bad. This is cranberry juice and orange juice. Originally, I was just gonna get cranberry, but I don't mind combining the two today. And actually, the, you could get a juice like this. Back in the day, it was, I don't know if, how many of you remember Tropicana Twister. So, I'm having a Twister juice today. It's Tropicana Twister combination. They are taking forever in the food in here and 90% of the staff in here are I just couldn't finish that thing because it was too big and again they took forever in there in serving me and uh, not to mention the waitresses there were very rude and I just I decided to take my food to go and drop it off in the fridge and then uh, head out so time to get lit the driver does not get here for another 18 minutes and uh, I want to get there it's like everything is slow around here and I should have uh, just gotten a uh, lift a lot uh, sooner because 
I would have saved myself five dollars. But either way, I'm on my way. So I'm gonna go out and look at the ocean until he arrives. Just something I needed. Um, these are falling apart, so they're going in the trash. As what uh, Rainbow Dash said in Little Pony, time to take out the adorable trash. <sighs> they were just making my feet really dirty, so time for change. Um, and you know what else is cool is that um, these were a group of people from White County, Georgia the White County school system that have daughters that have a jewelry business, really excited. It looks like I have two and a half hours to kill unless there's a session I can join. And if that's the case, I think I just might go over to the St. Simon's Lighthouse because uh, lighthouses are kind of one of my thing and I like prisms and I like beacons. They're just fun to watch and they're really soothing. I love these kind of fountains, but that's it for today's edition of uh, Hello World with Maya. There will be more to come on this trip to the Georgia coast and my On the Road with Maya edition. Anyway, uh, if you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe and thumbs up. I highly encourage you to share this with anybody in the community because the objective is to um, raise both autism awareness and acceptance and be sure to take middle grounds and walk in purple uh, also be sure to check out my social media pages you can find me on twitter facebook and instagram also be sure to check out my written blogs and wordpress they're scholarly practical applications and they are a series of reviews for future horizons until next time maya ryan and i'm happy to sign out bye But it is breezy in here and it's nice to be in the shade and I just love standing under the live oaks. I think I showed you one yesterday. <laughs>